The Ethiopian amphibious rat, also known as the Ethiopian water mouse, is a rare and unique species of rodent endemic to Ethiopia. It is the sole member of the genus Nylopegamis and belongs to the family Muridae. This rodent is particularly remarkable due to its highly specialized adaptations to an aquatic lifestyle, a rarity among African murids. However, despite its distinctive features, there has only been one known specimen ever recorded. Discovered in 1928 along the Lesser Abe River in northwestern Ethiopia, the species has since eluded researchers, leading to speculation that it may already be extinct. The Ethiopian amphibious rat is currently classified as critically endangered, primarily due to habitat destruction caused by overgrazing and monoculture farming. This essay will explore the Ethiopian amphibious rat's discovery, physical characteristics, habitat, behavior, ecological significance, threats to its survival, conservation efforts, and the implications of its possible extinction. In late March 1928, Wilfred H. Osgood, an American zoologist and mammalogist, captured a single specimen of Nilopegemes plumbius in a trap near the Lesser Abai River at an altitude of approximately 2,600 meters. Upon examination, Osgood realized that this rodent exhibited unique adaptations for aquatic life that had never been observed in African murids. Unlike the majority of African rats, which are primarily terrestrial, the Ethiopian amphibious rat displayed characteristics similar to semi-aquatic rodents found in South America, such as the water rat and the rakali of Australia. Given its distinctive morphology, Nilopegamese plumbius was placed in its own monotypic genus, emphasizing its evolutionary uniqueness. The Ethiopian amphibious rat possesses several adaptations that make it well-suited to a semi-aquatic environment. Although the exact details of its morphology are limited to the single recorded specimen, some of the key characteristics inferred from the specimen include streamlined body. The rodent has a robust elongated body shape that minimizes resistance while swimming. Dense water repellent fur. Its fur is thick and possibly water repellent, a common trait among semi-aquatic mammals to provide insulation and buoyancy. Large brain relative to body size. One of the most intriguing features of Nilopegamese plumbius is its unusually large brain. Scientists hypothesize that this adaptation may enhance its sensory processing capabilities, aiding in navigation and prey detection in aquatic environments. Webbed feet and strong limbs. Although not well documented, it is speculated that the species had partially webbed feet or strong hind limbs adapted for swimming. Specialized dentition. As an insectivorous rodent, Nilopegamese plumbius likely had sharp teeth suited for capturing and consuming aquatic invertebrates and small fish. The Ethiopian amphibious rat was found in the highlands of northwestern Ethiopia, specifically in wetland regions surrounding the Lesser Abe River. These high-altitude wetlands provide an ideal environment for semi-aquatic species, offering ample food sources such as aquatic insects, crustaceans, and small fish. However, the exact extent of its historical range remains unknown due to the lack of subsequent sightings. Although direct observations of Nilopegamize plumbius are non-existent, its diet and behavior can be inferred based on comparisons with other semi-aquatic rodents. Like many water-adapted mammals, it was likely nocturnal or crepuscular, hunting for prey in the water and along riverbanks. Its primary diet probably consisted of aquatic insects such as larvae, beetles, and mayflies, small crustaceans, and mollusks, possibly small fish or amphibians. Its behavior likely included diving and foraging underwater, similar to the South American water rats or the Australian rakali. The Ethiopian amphibious rat faces multiple threats that have contributed to its possible extinction. 
The primary challenges include habitat destruction, overgrazing by livestock and monoculture, farming have severely degraded the wetlands and riverbanks where Nilopegamese plumbius once thrived, climate change, changes in rainfall patterns and increasing drought frequency could have disrupted the delicate ecological balance of the Ethiopian highlands, making it difficult for the species to survive. Predation and competition. The introduction of invasive species and predators, such as domestic cats and dogs, may have posed additional survival challenges. Lack of conservation efforts. Due to its rarity and the absence of confirmed sightings, the Ethiopian amphibious rat has not been a major focus of conservation programs, further diminishing its chances of survival. Despite two failed attempts to relocate the Ethiopian amphibious rat, conservationists continue to hope that undiscovered populations exist in remote areas. Several key conservation strategies could be implemented to protect any remaining individuals. Surveys and research conducting comprehensive field studies in potential habitats to confirm the presence or absence of Nilopegamese plumbius. Habitat restoration. Efforts to restore and protect wetland ecosystems could benefit not only this species, but also other aquatic wildlife in Ethiopia. Community engagement. Encouraging local communities to participate in conservation initiatives and sustainable land use practices. Captive breeding programs. If live specimens are found, establishing a breeding program could help ensure the survival of the species. The loss of Nilopegamis plumbius would represent more than just the disappearance of a single species. It would mean the extinction of an entire genus, highlighting the fragility of Ethiopia's unique biodiversity. The rat's potential ecological role as an insectivore in highland wetland ecosystems suggests that its absence could have unforeseen consequences for local food chains. Furthermore, its extinction would be a reminder of the need for more proactive conservation efforts for little-known and understudied species. The Ethiopian amphibious rat remains one of the most enigmatic rodents in the world. Its highly specialized adaptations to aquatic life make it a unique example of evolutionary diversity within African murids. However, due to habitat destruction, environmental changes, and a lack of conservation efforts, the species is feared to be extinct. Whether Nilopegamese plumbius still exists or not, its story underscores the importance of preserving fragile ecosystems and conducting further research on rare and elusive species. The mystery surrounding this remarkable rodent serves as both a cautionary tale and a call to action for conservationists worldwide. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.